All right. Uh, hi, good afternoon all. Uh, my name is Zeki. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for um, for inviting me to this uh, conference and thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity. Uh, first of all, let me imp introduce myself. Uh, I'm a data scientist. I'm uh, currently working for Data Terra Tech uh, as a data analyst and uh, at the same time, I work for uh, Yandex as, uh, as an IT mentor. Uh, I have uh, five years of experience in IT, especially data analysis, uh, machine learning, uh, deep learning, statistics, and uh, data visualization. Uh, I have received my uh, master's degree in business administration and management from Naval Postgraduate School, uh, California, United States, and my bachelor's degree in electronics engineering from uh, Air Force Academy, Turkey. Uh, uh, now, currently, I'm located uh, in Turkey, uh, but I'm working for a Swedish healthcare data company, which is uh, Data Terra Tech. Uh, I'm mostly uh, 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 in most of my projects. I use Python, uh, so, and I have mostly worked with manpower data. Now I'm working with uh, healthcare data, and I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about our solution at Data Terra uh, to detect data quality and uh, data sensitivity by using Python and its uh, libraries. Uh, I'll follow the outline presented on the screen, uh, introduction and problem statement, uh, data quality inspector model, uh, sensitive data detection models. Uh, basically, we have two models here. Uh, first one, CNN model, and the second one, name entity recognition model, and further study. Uh, I'm going to keep it short since uh, we are running out of time. So uh, let me tell you about Data Terra and what we try to do at Data Terra and why we build these models. So as you know, the demand for high quality data is growing and it's becoming uh, crucial due to a uh, rise of uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, data Terra runs a data marketplace uh, for the healthcare sector by uh, providing uh, verified samples of training data sets. Uh, and we try to deliver a safe, trustworthy marketplace platform uh, exper uh, experience by supplying high quality, uh, real life uh, healthcare data to clients. And we try to enable, enable them to build accurate AI models. Uh, so, you know, as you know, up to date and trustworthy data are key inputs into overall uh, development of uh, AI models. So we try to make sure that we have high quality data uh, that we can provide uh, to uh, to the customers. And we leverage artificial intelligence uh, to determine data sensitivity as well as data quality to ensure that uh, data is highest standards in accordance with GDPR norms. So I'm going to talk about in, uh, in the following slides also. Um, so before data is integrated into our platform, uh, it is subject to artificial intelligence uh, based tests to determine uh, its value and suitability for our platform. So that's why uh, we try to build a data quality inspector model to detect the quality of the data sets and sensitive data detection model to detect whether data includes sensitive data. So, uh, you know, general data protection regulations, GDPR, defines data concerning health as personal data related to physical or mental health of a person. Uh, and also it includes a provision of healthcare services, which reveal information about this and, uh, you know, health status. Uh, so such data, uh, like healthcare data, provide more significant inf information about a person. and so receive uh, special protection. So we need to be sure that uh, the data in our platform doesn't include sensitive data. So that's why we build a sensitive data detection uh, model. So before uh, talking about sensitive data, data detection uh, models, I'd like to uh, talk about data quality inspector model because uh, high uh, quality data is a must uh, for our platform. Like this is like the first step. We need to be sure uh, that data is uh, high quality data before we uh, run our models. Uh, 
so uh, there are a couple of metrics need to be considered in terms of uh, data quality. Uh, these are completeness, uh, accuracy, consistency, uh, validity, timeliness, and integrity. So in our model, uh, we've looked at a couple of metrics, uh, missing values, duplicated values, multicollinearity, and uh, erroneous values. And we had some assumptions, uh, for example, the criteria for a high quality data that we use, uh, overall missing value percentage less than 5%, overall duplicated value percentage less than 2%, no multicollinearity between columns, and overall erroneous data percentage is less than 2%. So these were our assumptions. And this model, uh, for this model, we used a couple of Python libraries, uh, very helpful. Uh, first one is Y Data Quality. Uh, so Y Data Quality is an open source uh, Python library uh, for assessing data quality uh, throughout multiple stages of uh, data pipeline uh, development. And the second one, uh, Calib. Uh, Calib is a Python library uh, for importing, cleaning, analyzing, and uh, pre-processing uh, data and standard Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas. All right, so let me show you uh, the results of what this model uh, gives us as the output. So as seen on the slide, the output of the model gives whether data is a high quality data based on the criteria mentioned. Uh, so as you see, for this sample data set, we measured missing values, duplicated values, uh, multicollinearity, uh, erroneous uh, values. And for this sample data set, it says this is a low quality data because we have uh, you know, missing values for one of the columns and the percentage is like more than 80%. And also we have multicollinearity between uh, columns. And one more important thing about data quality is the domain knowledge. So domain knowledge is always needed for a more accurate assessment. So this model will be evaluated by experts uh, in our team uh, who have domain knowledge, like a physician or a doctor uh, with the background. So uh, we are not just going to use this model, but we are also uh, going to have our experts uh, looking at uh, data. All right. And now, from now on, I'm going to talk about sensitive data detection models. So we talked about GDPR. Uh, basically, uh, we have two models uh, for detecting sensitive data. Uh, these models uh, aim to capture sensitive data like name, uh, email address, password, phone number, date of birth, etc. Uh, for a given data set. Uh, we have built two different models in order to detect sensitive data for uh, different scenarios. Uh, first model is a deep learning model, which is a convolutional neural network model. And the second model is name entity recognition model. So this is an NLP model uh, by using uh, transformers. Uh, so we've used uh, Python libraries. Uh, first one is TensorFlow for the uh, first model, convolution neural network model. So TensorFlow uh, is a foundation library that can be used to create uh, deep learning models directly or by using a wrapper library. And Keras is a high-level neural network library that runs on top of TensorFlow. So we've used uh, two of these libraries uh, for the first uh, model, which is convolutional neural network model. And for the second model, uh, we've used a Presidio Analyzer and Presidio Anonymizer, and also Spaces. So Presidio Analyzer uh, is a Python-based service to detect a personal identifiable information like name, uh, credit card number, location, bank number. So as you know, these are considered as sensitive uh, information uh, in a text. Uh, and next one is Presidio Anonymizer. Uh, this is a pretty cool uh, library. Uh, Presidio Anonymizer is a Python-based module for anonymizing detected uh, sensitive uh, data. Uh, in uh, text uh, with desired values. And the last one is uh, Spacey. Uh, Spacey is a free, uh, free open source library for uh, natural uh, language processing in Python. So it features name entity recognition, post tagging, dependency parsing, or so on. 
Okay. So uh, now uh, let's look at the first model. So the first model uses uh, convolutional neural network. So this model is trained with sensitive and non-sensitive data sets. And model can detect name, credit card number, username, password, phone number, email address as sensitive. And the output gives the probability of sensitivity for a given sentence. So actually this model looks fine with uh, textual data, like a sentence like data. Uh, let me show you uh, one of the outputs of this uh, uh, model. So let's say we have this uh, simple uh, data here, uh, consists of sentences. When we look at the first uh, sentence, uh, his name is John, so it has a person name in it. Uh, so the model says this data is more likely sensitive. So uh, the sensitivity is around 99%. Uh, her name is Janet, again, 99% sensitive. Date of birth, uh, it says this data is more likely sensitive. Uh, phone number is blah, blah, blah. It says this uh, data is more likely sensitive. Uh, it's same for username and password. When we look at the last sentence, Data Terra global data source for AI model. So we have no uh, sensitive uh, data in this sentence or in this phrase. Uh, and the model says this is less like the sensitive, like uh, the percentage is like around 18%. So this model can understand if that sentence has uh, sensitive data or not. All right. Okay. Uh, now let's look at uh, next model, second model, which is name entity recognition model. So this model uses Presidio Analyzer and Presidio Anonymizer. So anonymizing the data is optional. Uh, name entity recognition models are pre-trained models, so uh, they don't need to be trained. That's really a cool thing. So entities such as credit card, IBAN code, email address, bank number, uh, can be detected and anonymized. Uh, as I told you, this is uh, optional. So output gives uh, detection of sensitive data for chosen entities. So we can also choose entities, so like which entities we would like to detect, or maybe all of them. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and show you one uh, example here. So again, uh, we have this uh, simple uh, data uh, sentence. It says, you know, hello, my name is Zach. I live in Istanbul. So we have a uh, phone number in this uh, original text. We have credit card number. We have passport number, uh, bank account number, uh, SSN number. And when we run uh, our model with this uh, sample uh, data, uh, it gives us uh, the anonymized text. So it can detect Istanbul as location, Zach as person, phone number as you know, phone number, so and it can, it can anonymize it. All right. And when we uh, try this uh, with a data set, data frame, uh, so we are mostly going to work with data frames. Uh, for a given input uh, data frame, output can be seen on the screen. So uh, let's say we have this data frame. We, uh, on one column, we have credit card numbers. Uh, another column, we have SSM numbers, salary and name. So the model can detect credit card numbers as sensitive and it anonymize uh, this column. Uh, it says this is credit card and you know it anonymized. And then SSM again, uh, so it says this is uh, a sensitive data it, uh, and it anonymized. Salary, so as you see, salary is not uh, sensitive data, so uh, it keeps the original uh, column. And name, again, uh, is sensitive, and the model says this is sensitive, and it anonymized it. All right, so, uh, so models I have mentioned in this presentation are for uh, textual uh, data. So we have mostly worked with te textual data so far. Next, uh, we will be working with image data, like x-rays, uh, like dermatologic images, or so on. 
Uh, we are planning to detect uh, image data quality and image data sensitivity by using Python. So uh, Python uh, has some you know, cool uh, libraries uh, for all of these. Now, for example, for uh, data quality uh, based on the metrics, uh, uh, we are going to use BrisQ library. And for uh, data sensitivity, uh, like as seen on the screen, sometimes uh, healthcare data images like this one may have some sensitive data embedded on it, like a text uh, information on it, like name or sometimes ID number or so on. So we are going to use PyTesseract library. So uh, this is used to extract uh, text uh, from uh, the image data. And then we are going to merge uh, previous models uh, with this model, uh, with CNN uh, and NER models, uh, NER models, so, uh, so that we could uh, detect uh, sensitive data on uh, image data. All right, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you so much uh, for uh, listening. All right, thank you. Thank you, everyone.